Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about fingerprint readers. As you probably know, fingerprint readers on phones are pretty much the standard. Cheaper and cheaper phones get them, and it's pretty much a certainty that every flagship has them. Besides Apple doing its little turnaround with the Face ID thing, because my theory is that they just didn't have in-display fingerprint readers ready yet, so they wanted to do something different, meanwhile they're working on that technology. But Samsung and a lot of other manufacturers didn't really go the route of doing some extreme face identification and remove the fingerprint reader entirely. They always had the option to have it. But for this year, for the Galaxy S10 Plus, they actually did an in-fingerprint reader. And I've been using my S10 Plus now for quite a while, and I am not really sure how I think it performs. It's kind of a learning curve. I'm still learning where to place my finger, that the area where I place it is kind of small. You have to like learn really how to use it. And I mean, when I actually get it right, usually works but it takes time you need to learn how hard to press how not hard to press and it's just a little fiddling around right now and it's kind of annoying me but hopefully i'll get a hang of it and maybe they'll update the printer or the reader to be even better but today i'm going to take a look at how good it actually is with dirt on your fingers and liquid because samsung claims that that's one of its strengths that it's going to be very accurate when coming to reading your fingers while they're not completely clean so I'm gonna compare it to a OnePlus 6, which has a rear-mounted fingerprint reader, a capacitive one, and also to a Sony Xperia XZ Premium, which has a side-mounted. So we're gonna see how all these three performs, which is best, which is faster, and which is more accurate, because who knows, maybe one is more accurate, but maybe not as fast as the others. And then you have to really compromise and see, what do you want, fast, accurate, or some compromise between both. So without further ado, Let's get into that and have a look at it. I live inside my own world of make believe. Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities. I see the two, one. Three, two, one. Other ice covered in ink and bleach. Cross out the ones who heard my cries and watched me weep. I love everything. Fire spreading all around my room. My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. So there you go, the results are in, and you can see for yourself that clearly the S10 Plus was the most accurate one when coming to dust, dirt, and liquid. It outperformed the other ones by far, being able to read my prints way faster with all that junk on my fingers. But at the same time, it was slower just placing my regular fingerprint on it, and without any dirt or anything. That's when it's the slowest. So 
The OnePlus 6 clearly had an advantage with just regular fingerprint. It's fast, really, really fast when you place it on the back. And same with the Sony, it's pretty fast. So for speed, it's definitely OnePlus, Sony, then Samsung. But for accuracy with dirty hands and wet hands, Samsung surprised me to be honest. They said that it was going to be good, but this is actually really good. What I hope now is that they can actually improve the speed of it too, because the accuracy is there. As long as you place it the right way and learn that technique, or what you want to call it. So, Let me guys know what you thought, if this surprised you as well, like it did with me, the results, and which one you would prefer. But here you see you have to make a compromise, either speed or like accuracy with dirty hands. So. I hope Samsung can keep doing what they're doing with the accuracy and just add speed with software. So let me guys know what you think and I'm gonna end the video here, hope you liked it and as always stay subscribed and like it and if you're not subscribed do please subscribe and I have a lot more content coming up and until then take care, peace out.